girls, welcome to the show. So, choosing between feminine hygiene products can be tricky. There are a lot of different options, like pads, tampons and liners. In this episode, we'll explore the differences between pads, liners, tampons and when to use them. Let's find out. Ready? What's the difference between liners and pads? A. There's no difference. B. Liners are just mini pads. Or C. Liners are for daily use, while pads are for periods. Looks like C was the most interesting answer, and the right one. Liners aren't mini pads, they're designed to help you stay fresh. They're thin, flexible and comfortable, making them easy to wear on an everyday basis. So, how about a little experiment? Pair up and use the pool noodles to see which team can make the liner come off the quickest. And watch out, you really need to try your best because liners are designed to fit nicely during every kind of activity. Get ready, go. Well, as you can see, it's not that easy. It's because they're meant to stay in place comfortably throughout your day. They're perfect for days when you don't have your period. When your period does start, you may want to use a pad or tampon to feel protective. Of course, all girls are different and you might need a heavier or lighter product depending on your flow. See episode 3 for more details on how to choose your pad. In what situations might a tampon be more convenient than pads? That's great! There are many situations where tampons can be more convenient, but it's totally up to you whether to use pads or tampons during your period. Tampons can be used throughout your period and not just for sports or swimming. Just remember tampons need to be changed regularly around every four to eight hours. If you sleep for more than eight hours, you should use a pad instead. You don't need to wear a pad while you're using a tampon, but if you're just starting to get used to tampons, you can wear liners like always dailies with them for extra security. Whatever you choose to use, make sure you do the right thing for the planet by disposing of it in the bin. Watch out, never flush the tampon, wrapper or applicator. Now, you may have heard about a possibly fatal illness called toxic shock syndrome. Let me say, it is very rare, but you should take it seriously. Just be extra careful if you develop sudden high fever, a sore throat, dizziness or vomiting. There are more symptoms, so read the leaflet in your tampon box. When in doubt, you should take out your tampon and contact your doctor. If it's treated timely, most people recover quickly. Now that you know more about how to choose the right product, you can feel more comfortable during your period and more fresh every day.